learning how to work with the other person and learning how to live with someone at AEZ. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emma. Welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, be sure to click that subscribe button for new videos every single week. And for all of you faithful followers and returning subscribers, I wanted to share that Rodolfo and I have actually added a new YouTube channel. So before, this channel was kind of where we just had everything. We would put our vlogs on here, I would put my sit down videos, my just my girly chat videos, and all of it was just here and we've decided to actually separate the two to make it easier for you guys and what you prefer to watch. So this channel from now on will strictly be my videos. Uh, girly chats, hair, beauty, skincare, wellness, health tips, any of that kind of stuff is now going to be here on this channel and from now on all of our vlogs, behind the scenes, and videos that we do together will be over on our new channel called M and Raph. I will link it down below. It should pop up here on the screen. Go ahead and give that channel a subscribe. We would really appreciate your guys' support and we're super excited to be able to now share more with you guys because I feel like now that they're separate, we can really focus on what each channel is there for. We can be more there with our vlogs and I can be more here with my videos and what I want to share with you guys. So again, thank you so much for being a part of this community, being a part of our online family. We love and appreciate all of you guys. And that's enough talking, let's jump into today's video. Today what I wanted to talk to you guys about was actually a question that I received almost probably like a month or even two months ago. I asked you guys if you had any questions for me and Rodolfo and this was a question that we didn't get to in our like Q&A about how we met, our engagement story, all that cute stuff. The question that was asked was basically what was the hardest part about transitioning into married life or what has been kind of the hardest part about being married and Rodolfo and I actually talked about this question a little bit when we went through them and it was really interesting to hear our different perspectives but I wanted to just give you guys my perspective today and just kind of share what it's been like. So we've been married now for four and a half months at date of filming. No, longer than that. It's like our five months, basically five months. In a couple days, we'll have been married for five months. So not super long. We are not marriage experts, you guys, like at all. We're just two kids trying to figure out how to be married. <laughs> One of the first things that I noticed was definitely difficult is you are going to learn just how much pride you have you are going to learn how much you like things done a certain way and how used to doing things a certain way you are the second you get married. Unless maybe you are not like me, maybe you're super easygoing. I thought I was easygoing until I got married and I realized, wow, like I've never thought that how I squeezed the toothpaste bottle was wrong or I've never noticed how much toilet paper I apparently use. It's so funny because when you get married, it's not just you. Like before you're married, it's just you going through life and you do whatever you want, however you want, and there's no one telling you that it's right or wrong. And then you get married and suddenly you might be telling someone you cook chicken the wrong way, like that's not how we cook chicken. Or perhaps they're the one telling you, uh, you use way too much toilet paper. Like, we are eating toilet paper in this home. That's a real experience. Apparently I use a lot of toilet paper, but come on, people. It's toilet paper. And so as silly as it may sound, it's actually one of, like, probably the first things I feel like that we learned. Um, it's just like you learn little quirks about each other and you have to learn to let things go. You really, really have to learn to be that kind of person who can just be like, you do this differently than me and that's totally okay. You have to accept the fact that you are two completely different people who have probably come from completely different families, different backgrounds, you were raised differently, how your mom cooked and how his mom cooked is gonna be totally different. And just like anything, like how his mom cleaned their home, how your mom cleaned their home, all of these things are now coming together and you're trying to figure out what you guys want in your home. And it can be a little bit difficult at first figuring that out and being like, okay fine we don't have to do it exactly this way like I can let that go you know you can do that your way so I don't know if that exactly makes sense but basically it's a little bit difficult because you're taking two different like backgrounds and just how you see the world is different and you're bringing them together and you're trying to make them into one and while it is definitely a little bit difficult and it can it can totally lead to like little arguments here or there or little disagreements or little things of like, oh, you're annoying me with how you do that. 
it's also like the best thing because you realize through that that we get to set our own rules like we get to decide how we will clean our home or how we will cook our chicken or what our Sunday traditions will become. And it's really cool because once you're able to realize that you're a team and you're not working against each other, but that you're working for and with each other, the whole game changes. And I definitely noticed that with Rodolfo and I, when we switched as looking at it like, well, that's what your family does or that's what my family does. And we looked at it as like, what does we as our family, me and Rodolfo as a family, what do we want to do? How do we want things to look? The whole game changes and it can be really beautiful realizing that you're starting your own family. And even though your family's small and it's just the two of you, you're still a family and you're still coming together and deciding what your life will look like. And that's really exciting. Like it's it's almost a little bit of like a powerful feeling because you're like, wow, like our life is going to be whatever we want it to be. Like it's up to us how our lives will look. It's just really cool. But along with being cool, it can be a little bit difficult. So if you're a newlywed or if you're about to get married, maybe be aware of that. And just right now, start being extra patient with each other, extra understanding of your differences, and make that decision today that you will choose to see it as you guys are working as a team. It's not one person bringing in ideas that you don't like and you're bringing in ideas they don't like. You're both going to be bringing in different ideas and you're just going to have to learn how to compromise and how to bring them together in a way that feels right for the both of you. Another thing that we had to learn was how to show love for each other in the way that the other person receives love. If you haven't heard of the five love languages, I will link the test down below. Take it. And if you are dating someone, have them take it. If you're married, have your spouse take it. It's amazing because it really is going to help. It's just basically like a personality kind of thing, but for like how you feel and show love to other people. And so why it's so important to understand each other's love languages and Rodolfo and I, um, like from day one, we actually like asked each other what our love languages are. And we were always super open about it, but it's totally different knowing what their love language is and being like, of course, I'll take care of that and actually doing it. You guys, it is so much different when like you're married and you're living together. Why it can be so important to understand each other's love languages is showing each other love is super important like that has got to be like number one top priority in your relationship is showing the other person your love for them but making sure you do it in a way that they understand and so when Rodolfo and I really we have very different love languages um, I'm definitely more physical touch quality time he is very much acts of service and we're both a little bit of quality time so that works out really well because we both like having time just to the two of us but as i've learned more and more ways that i can serve him in the way he loves it we have just like grown so much closer because then we both feel like we're speaking each other's language we're loving each other in the way the other person feels loved and that really leads to a really deep connection and a deep love and trust in each other because you know that that person has your best interest at heart and they are always looking out for you in the way that you need to be cared for in every single moment. So definitely learn each other's love languages because that is so important and it's just so important that you guys feel like the love and trust is there. So I feel like I'm turning this into a really long video. Um, but really those are like the two main things that I feel like we had to work through a little bit and really like come together in. So if those are two things that maybe could help you, definitely try applying them into your relationship. But honestly, just go out and experience it for yourself. <laughs> there's, there's my advice. Go out and experience marriage for yourself. That's the only way you're going to figure this stuff out. But for reals, because every relationship is different, every individual person is different, and so no two people in a relationship are going to be the same. Y'all are going to have your differences, you're going to be different than other couples, and so as much as we can all share each, our advice and what we're learning, the biggest thing you can do is talk to the person you love and ask them, how can I show you I love you? How can we be closer as a couple? Do those sorts of things and it really will change the game for your relationship. But I wanted to share those in the hopes that it might help any of you guys out there um, either engaged and preparing to get married or newlywed. I hope that you guys enjoyed just kind of hearing my thoughts on some of the things that have been a struggle. Not really a struggle, but that I had to learn and some of the harder parts about getting married. Um, learning how to work with the other person and learning how to live with someone. Ed A. Easy. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.